Olin. Shoves with kings? Mateos calls! What a ridiculous hand. Action on Max Lemansky. Jack, king of diamonds. You know, now that I think about it, Lemansky's little photo there bears a striking resemblance to Austin Powers. Behave. Speaking of behaving, Lemansky is just limped. Odd. 16. 1-6. Mm -hmm. Barry Greenstein with Jack-3 suited on the button is raising, makes it 1,600. Barry is attacking that weak play. Stashko has finally got a pair. And he lets it go. Seemed like a pretty nice spot for a squeeze, but what do I know? I can see the whole cards. And Tommy Nord will give up the big blind. So back on Lemansky. This was a pretty weird spot to limp to begin with, but if the button decides to attack you, I don't think you can just fold it. Lemansky does make the call. Let's see a flop. Eight, eight, six. Ha! Huh. Stashko would have flopped a full house. That awkward moment where you realize you would have flopped a boat. Well, I'm pretty sure if Monkey see bet Monkey do win this pot, and we all know what Barry's going to do. Greenstein continues the bluff, makes it 2,200. I assume Lemansky's going to fold any second, and his reaching for chips is all right. If Lemansky's floating, he probably does have a decent shot at getting Barry off Jack High. Nine of clubs on the turn. So all kinds of stuff just came in. If Barry had any kind of hand, Lemansky would have a hard time wrapping anything since A, he limped pre-flop, and B, big draws are going to raise that flop pretty often. Luckily for him, Barry's got just jack high. Lemansky bets 4,325. Now, Barry has an insta-folded. So we're looking at a rare Hollywood from Greenstein? Maybe Barry has a plan. The plan is to call? What? Now Barry's floating him. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of lost here. Interesting to see how this plays out on the river, which pairs the board again. Lemansky's hand is good, eight to nine to the king kicker. He probably thinks his only shot to win this hand is to bet at it, and usually he'd be right. He's counting out the bet. 7,600. This is a fairly small bet relative to the size of the pot. And look at that, Barry raises to 20K. Barry is bluffing this river like a boss. It's a great bluff based on a great read. Lemansky limp called pre, called the flop, then led the turn, made a tiny bet on the river. His line makes less sense than the plot to battleship. Lemansky mulling it over and then letting it go. Barry takes it down. He has the button. And he's raised. And chips are flying into the middle. Seattle. Oh no, he's called. He's limped the button. It's a little bit of action, not too much. He doesn't want to overexert himself, but coming in for a limp mm -hmm. I think rather than a raise. I think 2018's come early. All this stuff we're seeing, I think these are 2018 Amazing. trends yeah, happening now. The limps? Preview. Mm -hmm. That's right. They're coming the, back. The button limp. We've gone full circle. The, t the, the 3x raise. Old school is the new school. The small continuation bet when you're in position. So three-way to the flop in an unraised pot. Ace, five, three, two hearts. Exact range breakdowns for all three players right now. Le Paris, I have no idea. <laughs> Small blind, I have no idea. And big blind, any two cards. <laughs> Did someone put chips in the pot? Yes, Le Paris has bet 2,300. I mean, in general, you'd think his range would be strongest because the other two guys are in here with any two cards, right? So yes. We do see some action, though. Yeah, I got a fold from Trokomenko, but Siliander has called. Six of diamonds on the turn. More careful deliberation and a check behind on the sixth turn. Lots of fun rivers here. Fives. Probably not too interesting. I would be surprised if either player had... Well, I'd be surprised if Leperis checks back an ace. He could potentially check back a five, but... Oh, no option to check this back because Siliander is leading river. I think fairly likely he's value betting here. Oh, we're going to get to see? Yeah, no, it's a raise. Interesting. 
So limps the button, bets flop, checks back turn, now raises river, makes it 14,500. You would think if he bet flop, he would bet turn, because again, yeah. a lot of backdoor draws or more connection for hands like 6-4 and 5-4. So, I don't know, it's a, it's a weird one. Maybe Joe's call it, maybe it's, oh. maybe it's nothing. That's a raise all in from Ciliander. How much is that place? Well, oh, I guess he does have aces. <laughs> wow. But clearly has some, something. We don't Take see a, a snap fold yeah. here. So he was, you would imagine, initially you raising for value. Can you say when you take your jacket off, please? I thought he was asking to take the bet in so he could see the additional. This is such a weird hand. Started off with the pair is limping the button and the blinds coming along cheaply and it escalated quickly. Yeah. Well, that's oh, a call. Right. call. We can stop speculating. We're going to get to see both hands. It is an all-in situation. Sorry. Le Paris with king five off. Wow, the seven oh five. Oh, my hang goodness. On. Wow. Oh, hang Holy. On. Seven five was Le Paris's hand. The king five was Siliander. I don't get either raise, to be no. honest. See Ryman raising the button here. Remember, he's now lost the chip lead, which he's held for most of this final table. Gimbal defending his big blind out of position with ace four. Five of diamonds, six of wow. hearts, four of hearts. Tyler Ryman flops a straight. Gimbal with bottom pair and the backdoor flush draw. Gimbal certainly with enough hand to play for one street. Ty obviously flopped the nuts, and he's got to be happy right now. 630,000 from Ty. Call from Harrison. Ten of clubs. Well, that seals the deal. The flush draw can't get there. Ty Ryman cannot lose. Ty's going to fire up a nice big bet here. He wants to protect from a flush draw, get value from maybe two pair hands that Harrison's slow playing. 1,700,000, 800,000 from Ty. It's going to be tough for Harrison to call here. Call. There's some chance he thinks his hand's good. He might also, since he has the ace of hearts, seven of be hearts. attempting to bluff a river heart. Well, it is a heart on the river. Check. He checks. I guess he thinks that maybe Ty might have made a straight. It's going to be hard to bluff him off of it. From Ty. So has Gimbal gone into check fold mode here? Marlon. No, All he is going to make a huge bluff and represent wow. the flush. Seven of hearts is a tough card to represent here because you would think that in order to call the turn, he needs a straight draw or a pair to go with his flush draw. So the seven of hearts would be a key card to having a straight draw. So would the eight of hearts, and Ty has that in his hand. So we're, we're trying to decide if, if Ty can think, oh, could he have the ace king of hearts, the ace queen of hearts? The 10 9 of hearts, ace 5 of hearts. Really tough spot here. I think he's folded. Fold he's folded. folded. Wow. He folded seven, eight. What a move by Gimbal. He thought about five. showing it too, if you saw that. That's it, That's a tough spot for Ty Ryman. Josh will call. Oh, boy. That's too I meant to call. Josh is actually raised. He said he meant to call. Carlos will now move all in. <laughs> and because of that, <laughs> there's no room for sentiment here. Prager's made a slight mistake. And Mortensen pushes all in. But it isn't that much. The thing is, is that he may feel like now he's pot committed. Yeah. And it's not that I mean, much. If you for saw him. Carlos's cards, he'd jump his chips into the middle. 
cost Josh 167,000 to call. So he's getting better than he's getting about three to two on his money. It's hard to think that his queen. That's right, I want. <laughs> Bobo Love and start dancing. Oh, fancy talk. Well, I think, I think that Mortensen's pushing it a bit too much here. That's what I want. Let's start dancing. Get your chips in. He's, he's, he's almost being way too keen. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I know, but I, even if you call, you're going to move on lane anyway. Gosh, his hand's so bad. What do you have, thing high? Shark high? He's nervous. <laughs> Look at Carlos. <laughs> well, I, it's not that I don't think you have me beat here. He doesn't. It's so interesting. We have a very inexperienced kid here against one of the most experienced to tough call. players. Josh will call. Very good call. Yeah, see the the that was a good Josh call. Calls queen tray of clubs. Why you make a mistake there calling? Carlos has six in the space. Mortensen knows all about final tables and, and good appearances in tournaments. He's always there or thereabouts. And that's why he's doing this with a smile on his face. He's probably quite happy with his day's work. Let's see, does he stay in? The flop, oh, there's an interesting flop there. There's an action flop for you. Prager's obviously opened up his flush draw, uh, but Mortensen's hit the pair and puts him into the lead as it stands at the moment, changes his odds significantly. That makes Carlos a straight, but Prager has the flush out. <laughs> that's the perfect turn card for a neutral, <laughs> but not for these two. And it changes again. Unbelievable action. We are on cooler alert. Oh boy. Ivanov opened with fives. Pastor three bet with aces. Decision now on Mateos, who's got queens. That's not going to be good for business. He four bets. Alasmar, our qualifier, has jacks. Wow. He folds. Christopher Frank. All in. Shoves with kings. Oh, come on. Is this a standard deck or just one with all the letters of the alphabet? <laughs> I didn't look before. Seriously? Boy, are you going to be happy and then immediately disappointed. Ivanov has folded its back on Pastor. Yeah, check this out, Johnny Laden. He reshoves. What does Mateos do now? That. Feels bad, man, but I don't think he can fold. <sighs> what a ridiculous hand. Having aces here and having them hold, that's how you become a grand final champion. And is that? Five. So sick. Sicker than Lucille Auster on a Gravitron. <laughs> I don't know. He knows he's losing in at least one spot, but his odds are also pretty sick. I think I have to call. Yeah. Mateos calls! Good aces. No. I swear, hey. I swear I fall jacks. I swear. Cool story, bro. Aces versus kings versus queens. Well, none of the three ones, eh? Six sweat for everyone so deep in the tournament. Even aces aren't totally safe. Juan Martin Pastor set to triple up. Christopher Frank likely to be eliminated. The flop. 10-4 deuce. The turn card. It's a queen! I am so, so sorry. Buenos dias, Adrian. And now there's a 90% chance we lose two players. Mateos goes from worst to first, and it's a double KO! Frank out! Ah, <sighs> yes. Pastor out! That really sucks.